Hi, I'm Martijn. I'm one third of the group Noisia. We're currently on our main gear system. However, this track was uh, started before while we were on the road for our Outer Edges show, which is our audiovisual show. Um, we thought we could just sort of reinvent one of our older tracks, which was Diplodocus. We tried a bunch of things while we were on the road, on the blade, and back into the studio. I'm going to be showing you how we uh, built it and what we used from the original track and how we sort of structure it for the, for the audiovisual show. The arrangement is pretty plain, simple. It's intro, recognizable elements, which is obviously our little stab. When, whenever we play that, people that like Noisia, um, that come to, uh, have come to our shows in the past 10 years, probably know that. And that vocal, which is uh, Nick or Tice, I can't remember. Um, and yeah, we've added a bunch of elements from uh, the modular synths that Thijs uses a lot. Um, but then recently, in the last two years, we've been uh, listening to a lot of halftime stuff and started making that as well. Um, and we thought it would be the best direction to, uh, to actually make a halftime version of Diplodocus. And this is it. Here's the drop. Diplodocus? As you can hear, if you know the original, we've uh, sort of taken the, the original bass line and redone it with uh, some uh, serum synths, like that one. I can show you the synth as well. Let's go back to the drop. There's the serum. Yeah, it's pretty much just uh, a weird wavetable, FM modulating, a sine wave, and a phaser filter. And yeah, it's uh, an LFO and not, not even in envelope mode. I would usually use it in envelope mode, but it's, it's just re-triggering every time. And just uh, adjusting the rate, the LFO rate that is uh, the, doing the FM modulation and the filter cutoff frequency modulation, and it's just doing a bit of automation on the on the filter rate to get the sort of late feel and get the Diplodocus, like the big dinosaur walking through your club kind of feel. And then we have some like some little different versions of that. After a while, it switches to uh, this version. So it's just a different form and different filter. Yeah. Oh, it's a different different wavetable and slightly different settings on trash isotopes. Uh, Trash, trash too. Um, and yeah, I mean, other than that, it's, uh, yeah, we have for the second drop, we have a um, double time, a normal drum and bass drop uh, for the people that like that. It was, it was cool to have a, a halftime drop, but it was even cooler to go back into the style of the original, but a bit more uh, aggressive, a bit more jump up y. <laughs> And uh, yeah, all there is from the from the original is the stab. Um, this one. And some like little cuts of the bass line that come in between the new bass lines. Like that. And... So that's the samples. Then we just glue it all together with a bit of like some risers and some bit of noise on the bass, uh, white noise, and some some sort of panicky sounds. 
Uh, also from the original, we have this. So yeah, this is a bit of a disorienting sound, I guess, just to make it a bit more weird and less straightforward. Um, the drums, oh, actually, the, the funny thing about the drums in this project, I think um, it generally doesn't work for, for me to have a halftime and full-time section where you use the same, um, the same drums. Uh, but for some reason in, in this track, it did work. And I'm kind of proud of that, even though there's not much to be proud of. It's just, it did work. So didn't have to find another drum kit for the double time section. But usually it either feels too heavy or too sort of, uh, too, so too long and slow for the, um, for the double time section. Or the drums are too short and uh, snappy for the half time section to actually fill up the space. Um, but in this case, yeah. It's pretty much the same kit. It's just slightly different processing on the claps uh, on the that were laid with the snare. It's pretty much the same drum kit. Added some rides. It's intentionally like simple, um, but I think that really fits this tune. And then the only actual like real funny thing that I've always wanted to explain in a video about this track, which was already in the original, is the outro. Um, the outro was um, us recording a little power drill. We held the screw head and then gently squeezed the trigger. The is it called the trigger? I guess so. And then you get this. Thank you.